those kind of what we can actually develop the character design from there. So that's basically a bit kind of different, a bit there, okay, but not not that quite different. If you take a look back again, okay, to the to the main objective of our <clears throat> of our exercise or an assignments, basically the project itself, there, okay. Okay, if you take a look back again, okay, the main objective of it. All right, student will give it will given six image of human figures posed as a reference. They need to figure out okay to redraw using the digital tools there. In order to develop the understanding on improving your drawing skills and illustration skills there first. That's basically one of the main important objective there, okay? Your purpose there, okay? Why you actually have to develop this kind of projects as a part of your assignments and exercise at the same time. That's the main objective there, guys. All right. Am I actually put those kind of words, okay? You have to design the new characters, whatever, blah, blah, blah. No, they're right. Okay. So I really have the clear kind of objective from here. Because whatever that we're going to do, okay, whatever kind of styles or demonstrations or, or design that I create based on those characters, they're right. Okay? Based on those, uh, what we call the reference there. The main objective is basically is very, very clear there, right? Okay? It's all about improving your drawing and illustration skills there first. Because I know basically I have a ton of what we call that, uh, kind of what we call that WhatsApp, kind of what we call that respond there, right? Okay? Uh, most of you guys, some of you guys, thank you very much. Basically, right, okay, most of the students send it over, basically the sample of their drawings there, or right, okay, ask me the questions there, like I did basically give, uh, give some consultation, consultation and some suggestion at the same time there, right, okay? So really thankful for that, okay, for those kind of commitment there. I really appreciate and I really, really feel quite very grateful for that, okay? But the thing is right now, okay, some of you guys, okay, maybe, okay, some of your friends, they want to challenge a bit more further. I'm okay with it. As long you have known basically your skills there, you, you develop basically the, the right kind of understanding there to draw, based on the reference first, okay? Based on the reference there first. That's basically very clear, guys, okay? To developing, to develop your understanding by improving your drawing skills there, okay? Improving your drawing skills over here. Check a look there, get the words, okay? Simple there, okay? You don't have to think too much from there. But during the process of developing your drawing as a creative students, creative, kind of what we call that uh, person there, right, okay? We always have a lot of wild ideas there, okay? So when you have that kind of wild idea there, right, okay? Whether you can actually go uh, develop some of the sample research there, you just browse them from the Google there, okay? Uh, let's just say you want to design from that human become a uh, monsters, robot, creatures, whatever that you have in mind there, okay? You can use some of the small elements to apply it from that drawings. Small element there. You don't have to draw the whole thing changes, right? Okay? Because, because I know there, right? Okay? If you have to make some major changes, you will take a lot of time to think about it because the design process doesn't stop there. Because we don't go through the real design process, right? Okay? For these subjects yet, there, right? Okay? Because I actually right, recognize and also realize in reality there, right, okay, right now, logically, most of you guys need to develop your skills first. Some of you guys, when they draw a circle, also they become a bit kind of hesitated, right? Okay? So that means you need some extra kind of works there, basically, on your own efforts to develop that kind of skills there first. Otherwise, Whatever tools, whatever kind of materials and technique that you guys are going to learn, we're not going to be useful if we don't improve that that foundations kind of skills there, which is you can draw basically right, okay, uh, without hesitate, and you can develop your kind of drawing strokes very smoothly when you use those tablet at the same time, okay? because most of you guys have that that kind of what we call that an early experience there. That's why I don't want to push 
a bit more further to learn a lot of tools there that you might going to get confused there, right? You, you might get to be complicated there, right? So I'm using a very standard general kind of tools that I also use for my kind of professional kind of works, okay? But can be applied logically, practically with your assignment and exercise at the same time there, right? So I didn't actually push the limit more further though, okay? Too far, okay, you can use this, you can use that, okay? All this kind of stuff. And you, when you mixed up around all together, because I saw some of the students, they tried to experiment within one drawings, a lot of techniques there, a lot of styles there, a lot of strokes there, okay? They become a bit kind of messed up and you not actually have focus there. You don't have the focus there, okay? Your objectives are going to be spoiled there, okay? You're going to be ruined there, okay? Because you mix up all together, all the techniques in one particular drawings, and you don't know where to start, where to use, where where the right way, basically, when the right time for you guys to use all this kind of stuff there yet. Because it takes time for you guys to generate, to digest all these information, say guys. I developed this kind of skills more than 30 years. You just only six weeks or seven weeks there, right? Okay? So comparing to the to the even though we have the technologies nowadays that I try to get a shortcut way for you guys to learn, but it doesn't mean it's enough there. And I get some of the response also to the from the students that I can say again. So why don't you actually write teach? Why you actually teach us basically to draw or trace on top of the layers here, okay, right? Okay? Why basically, okay? Do you have any kind of questions like that? Similar questions there? So I'm going to answer back again. Because I'm recording the sessions, uh, I think I think I've been rec I, I've been actually right uh, share this kind of information and 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 what we call that. It's okay, right? Okay, um, I've been basically there, right? Explaining all this kind of main objective there, okay? Quite some times there. All right. So I want you guys to hear back again why there, right? Okay. One of the reason I actually write develop this kind of methods for multimedia student, especially there, okay? Draw on top of layers. But as I actually mentioned to you guys for so many times, even though it look like a tracing, but we're not basically purely 100% tracing the whole thing. If you saw basically how I actually draw them back, we are not doing those tracings 100%. Only 30 to 20 to 30 percent of our main kind of uh, process were using that that what we call tracing kind of methods there but more 70 percent okay 70 percent of our efforts were put based on our drawing skills all right based on your drawing skills remember this works there right okay because without having the right kind of drawing skills, that particular exercise that we develop for you guys also doesn't, doesn't make sense there, right? It doesn't make a useful kind of what we call it, quality work that we want to produce there. But the main reason why I use these layers there techniques, because I want to give some uh, what we call that an easy kind of pass there. Okay, normally there, guys, when people learn to draw, they don't trace the right. Okay? Traditionally, there, okay, if you basically, if you, if you basically going, we, if we are going to have a face to face kind of what we call that uh, sessions, of course, there is no such thing as these methods that I'm going to show you guys or, 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 or share you guys, okay. Uh, for, for our lessons there. Why? Because we are going to do a lot of traditional methods that works. And of course, traditional methods will need a lot of drawing exercise. You know how many drawings that recently, okay, most of your senior have done, okay, with my classes there. Every week, minimum drawings is 10 drawings you have to complete every single week sometimes 15 drawings there and there is a few times that i give 10 to 20 drawings per week there okay 
before you develop the assignments works. Assignments, normally I'm going to give around um, three to five. And the final one, I'm going to be one there, okay? But one drawings, they're going to have a small particular kind of process of process drawing that you have to develop there. At least five or six or uh, below 10 kind of developments process, right? So there's a lot of drawing exercise from there, guys. All right. Uh, I remember, okay, with these uh, illustrations kind of drawings, uh, uh, illustrations kind of subject, right? Okay, we have 20 pages to complete for our final works and develop into a PDF books there, right? Okay? 12 pictures books there, right? Okay? But before you develop those picture book, you have to design the characters, you have to design the elements there, backgrounds and, and thumbnails there, right? Okay? So there was more works that been done previously from our students, all right? You should be grateful. I try to minimize a little bit, but focus with more further on your foundations there for these semesters. Or, or you want basically that 10, 15, 20 drawing exercise to develop per week. Anyone want it? Please let me know there, right? Because we still have another seven weeks there to complete the whole thing. All right. Anyone want to have that kind of uh, intensive exercise? Ten, fifteen drawings per week. Anyone? Guys, open up your webcam there, guys. I want to see your face over here for a while before we're going to start those demonstrations. Anyone here? Please let me know the record, yes or no. Anyone want to have that kind of 10, 15 kind of drawing exercise per week? No, you see, you song the record, you song actually, right? Right. Have to give a response there, okay, on the videos there. Anyone, right? Okay, please let me know. Anyone want that kind of 10, 15, 20 intensive exercise to develop your skill from there? Ah, weeping, why you smile there, right? Ah, you wanna? Huh? That kind of exercise. Really, guys, I didn't actually write, made all these kind of things there. But I tried to make a little bit kind of, uh, not, not, a, not very, uh, uh what we call that compact kind of what we call that <clears throat> uh exercise for you guys but i want to have a more efficient kind of way to develop the skill especially for those who really cannot draw well okay that's that's the reason why because i realized that okay all this kind of difficulty happens okay for the previous students there so we cannot get a very good kind of qualities results okay when the student basically focus a bit more further on those amount of exercise but they don't use that that kind of exercise to develop the skills there they just pretended to develop this exercise just for the sake to to complete basically the work there right to complete those kind of uh weekly kind of uh what we call that uh, responsibilities only there okay but they don't actually use them back so at this time there okay basically if you if you look closely okay i'm using that that the samples that i have given you guys before but we try to improvise slowly the skill itself there we improve the skill should should we improve the skill like okay, slowly there okay but there's a lot of things you have to learn right like, okay? i'm not saying that all these 14 weeks, you're going to become professional, okay? Unless you put a lot of efforts on yourself there. You put some extra efforts from there. But if you look carefully and watch carefully, I, I, I heard one of your friends that you right, told me there, okay? Uh, when, when I actually do those demonstrations, uh, they not basically uh, focus and pay attention on, on, on those kind of demo, okay? So they, they felt bad about it. Okay? I, I have one of the comments right, okay, from my students there, from the students there, okay? So that's the thing there, guys, okay? You don't watch carefully how actually I move my hands when I draw during the cursors there, okay? The cursors there, okay, when I draw those panel, okay? You should watch carefully there. 
I have one sample. So I, I don't want to show you guys. Okay, one of the students actually sent it over uh, yesterday. Okay, when he draw basically the whole structure there, okay, suddenly the face doesn't look right. Okay, logically there, okay, what you're supposed to draw a base from reference there, right? And the reference is in front of you there, okay, is on top of the layers there. What's other problem that you can actually draw back again according to your reference? We don't actually draw a subject matters from uh, from from other side there, okay, because traditionally, okay, when you have subject in front of you, you cannot trace them, but you have to use purely your kind of observations there to draw them back right that are the traditional methods there right and of course they're going to be a bit more harder for those who have a zero knowledge that's why the methods that i show you guys that i actually write uh, what we call that uh introduce to you guys basically working okay, for for this semester basically i'm using also for digital illustration classes there right because those methods hopefully can help, can exist, okay? You have all this kind of what we call the heavy of mind. I, I know there, okay? Oh, how I check and want to draw all these kind of details there, okay? How do you want to draw those uh, uh, eyes there, okay? The point is right now, how do you see things? Don't ask yourself, okay, how actually I'm going to draw them? How you look at those things there, back okay? again? How you look at those subject matters mm. there. How actually you look at things there, back again. That's the important thing that you have to set in your mind. Not how, which is you find out that difficulties there. You put yourself stress inside your mind. Eh? When you say how I want to draw them, how I, I will draw them, right? Okay? You put some difficulty inside your mind there. You say you cannot there, right? But if you look back again, eh? How I look at things back again? Is it I look at things in the right way or not? Based on the element of line and shapes there, when you, that you guys learn from element of design there, right? Okay. The rest of you guys, why didn't you open up your webcam there, guys? Okay. Like main way for a while there, okay, later, right? Okay. I want to see you guys face okay this morning before we're going to turn off back again. All right. Where is it all the you guys there? All right, open up your webcam for a while there, okay? And then we can close them back, okay? While I'm explaining them, okay? So if you if you actually are set in your mind, okay, how you're going to look at things rather than how actually you're going to draw them. How you're going to draw them is all based on your coordination with your hands. Your hands basically, okay, when you move them, okay? Coordination that you bring over there. How to coordinate with, co coordinate with your hands there, okay? I did show you guys how to move your hands properly when you draw, how to develop the right kind of strokes there, okay? Fundamentally, okay? When you're actually going to draw them. That's basically how you're going to draw them. But how actually you look at things based on your observations there, back again, guys. Observations there. Okay, one of the exercise. Anyone remember what kind of observation exercise that we did? In the earlier kind of weeks to develop your kind of observations kind of skills what kind of exercise that we did chin hui don't they dreaming there all right what kind of exercise that chin hui do you remember drawing exercise the name of drawing exercise that we did anyone remember the names hmm Yes, that is good, okay? Blind contour drawings and contour line drawings there. Remember that name there, okay? Remember that name there. But that's not basically the, the names of the song from the Fort Minor there. Okay? Remember them there. Gastier drawings there. All right, good. All those kind of drawings, basically, we, that, we, that we use traditional kind of methods that works right to develop your observation skills there but if we don't actually take serious and that kind of exercise of course our drawings over here that we did for our projects are going to be really really hard 
okay really hot there right for some of you guys there so I want you guys to just look at these drawings there right? when I draw this subject matters over here okay this is not based on the actual kind of reference there right this is basically based on the actual reference but can you take a look what kind of drawing that I produce right now what type of drawing that I produce right now a call basically from contour line drawings here contour line drawings over here okay so how I can I develop the contour line drawing back again to this kind of uh, what we call that exercise and projects is from okay if I use this what we call that uh, ink brush there okay ink brush kind of what we call that tools can you see how actually I develop basically my kind of drawings kind of what we call that process over here the movements I'm using control line drawings right and I let my my hands move according to the flows itself move according to the flow itself there right see so this is basically one of the good exercise that you guys can implement in our project this week if you seem to have still have difficulty to control your pressures all right control your pressures here using the tablets right okay this is basically one of those exercise that you guys can implement okay i know that hard for you guys to draw based on this uh, some of the um, some of the areas there right okay, can you guys see there okay i'm using space bar space bar to move over my drawings there okay my images there right can you see there right guys the type of quality of line that i produce right here before i'm going to draw into an imaginative characters if i have those time there right? if you don't have those kind of times don't try to push yourself without knowing that you need to develop your skills there first of drawings see can you see how slow that i move my hands but they have basically some understanding that i developed from this exercise or drawings here so one of the most important thing that we have to commit there right okay guys is how actually you develop that skill when you draw them back we're not tracing the whole time there right okay? but i'm learning back again how to move my hands from this exercise to draw the subject matters here all right Ask yourself back again, can you do the same thing to develop your skills if you don't draw on top of the layers there? Ask these questions back again there, guys, whether you have that kind of ability or not. If you have, good. If you don't have, some of, most of you guys, I, I believe there, okay? This is basically one of the best exercise which is to start develop your skill there first. Like I said, okay, you cannot expect in 14 weeks you become professionals then. Unless you have that kind of package that you bring over to our class before you enter to further your studies there. Right? So the quality of line there, right? Okay? Some people say, okay, how actually I'm going to draw the faces, okay? I I I believe that he draw the faces look like this there. Right? something like this i don't know why he get those kind of ideas from okay something like this but i think my drawing is more worse than him there right so this is basically not proper way for you to look at things back again right so take a look closely to the quality of line that i produce over here the thickness the thinness the softness the right the flows itself there right okay and when i draw basically uh those even though I don't have any reference, right? So 
can you see right how actually I improve my kind of line drawings and at the same time I redevelop back again those kind of structures there okay slowly there right? that's basically the, the main objective the, the 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 reasons and also the benefits when you develop the right kind of skills that first but of course this is not enough there like I said before there's a lot of things that you have to experience there before you can imagine your drawings okay but this is one of exercise okay? because I did a lot of exercise based on this techniques guys when I was like like you guys first semester second semester third semester right we have three different semesters that actually develop the same kind of drawings methods there and we combine them all together with other techniques at the same time with three semesters guys not one semester there guys and after that I not I keep on practicing myself from there one of the videos uh, which is I be which is I've been shared uh, with with uh, some of the students okay okay but you guys can check back again <clears throat> uh, one of the videos that I actually did before uh, right of this one I think right the last videos that I actually create okay right here all right I did basic, basically share uh, some of my sketches there, okay? Some of my sketches, sketchbooks here. You guys can check a look back again there in the two under, okay? So I, those are those are some of the some of the earlier kind of drawings that I did when I was like your age. Yeah, I still keep those drawing uh, sketchbooks there, right? Okay. I still keep those kind of sketchbook okay some of them were good some of them were not good okay but at that times I felt that uh, I'm, I, I'm doing okay there okay but basically it's not so the journey has to be com continuing all the, all all the way there okay if you want to improve your skills right so I did actually write share some of those where is it there okay uh, some of the earlier drawings there it's not that good there guys okay all those kind of drawings not good there okay but I I always practice myself there okay some of them some of them basically I I, I did develop basically some of the uh, drawings from comics there okay but not for my assignments there guys this is not from my assignments there this is basically based from from my kind of efforts there to practice myself every night like I told you guys there previously before the I think the again I will spend around 11 to 12 uh, o'clock midnight there okay until 2 to 3 in the morning I can practice my kind of uh color kind of techniques paintings drawings okay at midnight there okay if I don't have any assignments there because I don't actually believe that I have to leave myself to to serve the assignments all the time okay i believe that i have to serve my kind of purpose to develop the skills okay for myself okay assignments is one thing there i have to score some of the assignments there right but i have to develop a bit more further than the assignments that beyond assignments there because because if i actually write put my purpose there okay only to serve assignments your life are going to be boring there okay even though you have those kind of games that you can play there right okay? but my times we don't have any video games right if i want to play video games i have to go back to my hometown right okay? those are the things that right i don't actually go to clubs like some of you my friends there don't play that kind of billiards snookers bowling whatever shit there right okay i don't go there so i serve myself to develop my skills and i'm enjoying those kind of things there that's how actually I practice myself. But I also socialize a little bit with my friends at the stall there, okay? That's it, there, right? That's it. They part the stall there, okay? Those are the things that we do there, right? Okay? Until today, there, right? Right. But that's the only thing that I socialize with my friends at the times. 
Like you guys basically can go a lot of things in on, online right now, in, in social media is there. All right. But you have to know your purpose here. All right. That's why illustrations, basically, we want to train you guys to develop the right kind of skills that first. Assignments is a part of those uh, the objective that to serve basically your kind of uh, marks there, okay? GPA basically, okay? Your kind of record of your kind of lessons there. But what do you get from those assignments? You ask yourself back, okay? You guys can close your, your webcam if you want to there, okay? What are the purpose that you want to, to you, you, you get those kind of marks there, right? So you want to develop the ugly kind of works that you don't actually like to see them for, for more five to six years there, right? I'm still actually keep all these kind of sketchbooks there, right? After 30 years there, see? Right? I'm still keep those sketchbooks there with me. Right? And I'm not feel proud only there, okay? But I felt grateful there because I can see my kind of developments from there. All right? That's basically one of the things that that I always remember there, okay? Because my kind of like, always say the same thing, okay? You keep your sketchbook well, all right? And this is a part of your legacy that you can actually show to other people later on, and you can actually see back again your kind of developments from there. You don't throw away your sketchbooks, right? You don't throw away your old kind of books there, okay? You keep it safe, and you keep track on it, right? That's the thing that we want to do, okay? Because... People always say, okay, share memories or whatever thing there, okay, all the things that you want to share, okay. When people die there, okay, then you actually want to remember them, okay. That kind of thing, maybe yes, yeah, right, okay. Sometimes we need all those kind of things there. But whatever the experience right now to, to develop your life lessons here, yeah, you should keep into your memories at the same time. Okay, the valuable lesson that you learn from there. This is basically the moment that you have to, to embrace that later on there, right? So right now, okay, when you have developed all this kind of understanding here by using this contour line drawing exercise, drawing therapy, then you can start to draw. Okay. For example, right here, okay. I'm using the same method, okay, but if you check look closely there, okay, did I actually do a lot of changes on my design? No there, right? I just make a small changes based on the reference there. A lot of people try to make a lot of major changes. I'm saying it's not that bad, but the thing is right now, if you don't train yourself to develop a bit more fundamentally, okay, for your work, for example, you want to develop a bit kind of like different kind of what we call that uh, elements or merchandise or, or accessories there okay for example like this one you want to draw this kind of what we call that that has basically those uh, what we call that the wrist the wrist kind of what we call that accessories over here all right like a lot of warriors actually wearing there right you guys can use them okay this is basically based because i know basically you guys have played games there before you saw some of the characters from from any kind of games, right? Okay, like Mobile Legends, there, uh, what we call that, anything, okay, Warcraft, Starcraft, there, okay? Those are basically my times. So let's just say you want to draw a little bit kind of like the ring kind of shape that patterns like this there. You guys can use them, but if you check look closely, okay, when I draw them, I control my line really well there, right? I really control my line really well there. This one basically came to you know, this part they basically there, right? So I'm going to redraw back again. But this time, okay, those what we call that. It did I, when I draw the record, I didn't actually draw only the outline that you work with it. I try to improvise them according to those. Those drawings there. So I'm going to redesign a little bit from you. 
I didn't actually put a lot of efforts to draw the whole thing there, guys, okay? To, to change the whole things there. But I tried to improvise a little bit there. See? I simplified them. So small changes that you can actually create from here, small changes there, will give a lot of benefit for you rather than you just draw the whole things become sometimes people love to draw like anime manga characters there okay but your kind of strong understanding to develop the skills to that characters were not there yet so that's why i didn't encourage you guys to draw some of the thing that you don't understand yet okay try to draw something that you understand that first for example, like this one there, okay? I didn't want to draw the whole thing to so become a bit more like out from those reference there. So what I did, I maintained some of the areas there first there, okay? But the thing is right now how actually I coordinate basically my hands. When I draw, those structures are really more important than I want to draw the whole thing's look original kind of characters that i thought that become originals i don't want to do that so some of the elements over here if i want if I, I don't want to draw i, I will i won't draw them there yeah, i won't draw them back again i try to maintain some of the areas but some of the areas over here that i didn't want to draw i don't have to draw i won't draw them that way so as an illustrator, that basically you have that kind of ability to make this kind of changes there. Make that kind of changes there, guys. But if you make those changes, that we're not going to be affected basically the whole presentations. It's okay, right? Okay? It doesn't affect the whole presentations there, right? So I don't have to follow them. Because sometimes some people actually try to make a lot of changes, then become weird there, okay? Become weird, okay? Become awkward, those design there. So the point is right now to develop your skills back again, okay? When we want to complete these assignments there, okay? this project itself there, right? You see how I actually move my hands over here? I combining all this kind of what we call that methods all together there. Contour line, sketch line, okay? Etching line, okay? With this with this particular kind of uh, what we call that illustrations or drawing itself there, right? So right here, maybe I'm going to use the same kind of what we call that, the wrist kind of shapes there, okay? Uh, what we call that. And then start to draw basically those fingers here if you let loose a little bit okay don't actually write try hard enough to become someone else when you want to draw there right you will get a lot of focus in order to develop your skills according to what you need to develop in a short time there, right? So from here, maybe I'm going to etching a little bit using different directions there. So overall, I have complete then those kind of drawing steps, all right? And then the next thing is, we have some shadings and shadows there. I'm using different colors again. I just want to give you guys some examples that works. So how to develop those kind of different kind of shadings there, okay? First of all, I'm going to change into soft round brushes. You can use can you guys can use all these brushes if you wanted to experiment them there. In these brushes over here. But when I use these brushes, I'm going to change the flow. Right to 10 point, 9 point sometimes. Uh, less than that, there, okay? Why? Because I can control a bit more further on the shadings there. 
And the shadings that you want to paint, or I think, were based on the highlight and shadows there. You just have to follow them back again, right? Because we need basically to develop that kind of understanding first there before we're going to imagine all these kind of elements together there. I draw on top of these layers there, right? Okay. So this is basically the drawings. So rename your files all the times. And these are going to be the shadows there, I think. So what I then do from here, I, I put a side okay, of these illustrations of these drawings there. Then I'm going to use the size, change the size depending on the areas that I want to paint there, I think. Follow the shadows, try to draw, try to paint the core shadows, but don't press too much. Right? A lot of people actually try to paint too, they, they, they press too much over here, I right? think. They won't be able to recover back again those kind of what we call that shadows that they, they try to develop from that this one basically the shadows are a bit more different there. they have to be a little bit more shining there right yeah. so it's a bit kind of tricky though i think if you don't actually write develop the right kind of understanding on this kind of element itself there right okay but it's not that basically hard if you look carefully to your reference. This one is going to scale a bit smaller there. Easy for me to look at the reference there, right? And there. See? So from here, you have that kind of shadow step for those kind of what we call that. The formations of the shadows here. Okay. Overall kind of looks. All right. Then slowly you develop a bit more further on the shadings there, right? Okay. There's some details there. Right? Change the size. How I can change the size there, right? Okay. I'm using basically this two tools, okay, to reduce the size there, okay? This one to reduce the size. This is going to be uh, increase the point size there, okay, of those brushes there, according to the space that I want to paint there. Right? I'm using nine point, uh, I'm, I'm using 9% uh, of flows there, right, okay? Just to control a little bit on my shadows there, right? Okay. When I want to blend it out. Yeah. Okay, blend it up there, right? Slowly learn, learn about it, right? Okay. And some of the areas there, I'm going to paint a little bit on those, what we call that, those uh, base kind of shadows there, right? Okay. So once you learn shading basically, right, you, you need basically a, a bit more patience, patience there, right, to work on that. Okay? You need a little bit more patience there, okay, to work on that, right? Okay? Because uh, back in the day, we used basically charcoal that to work. To develop those shadows kind of shades there. You can increase a bit more further on the flows if you want to. Okay? But the way that I paint basically, right, okay, according to the, the structures of those uh, muscles there, okay. I didn't, I did not simply just paint it up. Okay, you're using gray scale here right now, but using those red colors there, tone, to work with it. Yeah. I'm circling around a little bit, but not too much there. But this part basically has basically those uh, the rib cage there, right? Slowly paint it up. Hmm? Right. 
So the rib cage, you don't have to draw them the line. And sometimes you can use basically those kind of ideas of shadings that you need to do. Same goes when you want to draw those, what we call that, uh, nose there, right? Okay? And use shadings that to form basically the, the tone, the structures of, of the nose there. There, right? Oops, I draw on top of it, right? Shit. Right. Okay, let's see. This one also, you have to figure it out, there, guys. There, right? They try to be careful with it there, so I make mistakes over here. I should draw on top of the layers over here. I made the comic stick there. See? This background cop is what there, right? Yeah, what you can do. All right. This pain back again, this one basically. Right, that doesn't affect any kind of areas, so I can combine with the shadows line there, right? Shadows kind of layers over there. All right, see, so start over again there. But don't worry there, those are the things about digital say guys. Okay, when you play with layers there, okay, be careful with it all the times. Okay, then they might going to make you guys confused that okay, what I can do from here, okay? Even, even though we have basically those those advantage there, okay, when you want to paint using those kind of digitals there. Sometimes some of the things that we 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 might going to be errors there, okay? From our areas that we do there, okay, it will be a little bit more like waste of our time a lot there from there. What I can do from here, and I can just start to paint according to those details there, right? Slowly that works on that. But every single tone that you actually produce, the, the, the core shadows, they always have those what we call the reflection slide there, guys. Okay, so that's why when you paint it out, okay, look carefully to those reference when you draw them. Don't just simply paint them, right? Dark tone first there, okay? Without acknowledge basically that kind of understanding of those structures here. Yeah. Any questions on those drawings methods? Hmm, guys, any questions on the drawing methods there? Hopefully you guys had that kind of understanding there, okay, to start to begin with first. You see, okay, how actually I sculpt basically the shadows line over here. Okay, when I paint slowly, there, okay, the shadows line, okay, control the pressures really well, say guys, okay, learn to control the pressure. That's why I'm using 10 flow, sometimes 9. There's a case when I actually use different kind of Photoshop there, guys, right? I'm using basically like a very, very soft kind of what we call that. Uh, shed, uh, what we call that. Point of size there. And you see there, okay, when I draw this kind of areas here uh, to develop basically the tone of it. As you can see the muscle, okay, the structures there, they're becoming basically a bit more stand now, pop up there, okay? From, from your kind of we call that uh, shading. See, so basically shading basically plays around 50, 50 or 40, 50 or 30, 50 percent. I right, think okay? from your strong, solid kind of drawings there. Okay, if you take a look closely there, okay, without 
outline there, okay, without strokes there, okay, this is basically our shading set. There's nothing there, right, okay, but it can be applied in the various type of different kind of methods there, okay, but I didn't actually focus more on the shadings all the times that I'm focusing on the drawing step first. Because your strong drawing will give more impact on your shading step. Not the shading is going to give impact on your drawing step. Okay? Because when your drawing sucks, whatever, how good your shading is, the whole thing are going to be not going to be uh, presentable right there. Okay? You're not going to be good there. Right? So that's why focus on your drawings, okay? On your shadings and drawings that first there. Okay? Or even there are some shadings over there, right? There. So those are the things that you guys can do. Okay, about lasso tools. So let's just say this pencil, okay? I can use lasso tool to select them. You guys can use also a different kind of selection tools that you work on that. Okay, let's just say I'm using this one there, right? Okay. Okay, if you take a look right now, okay, based on my, my demonstrations over here, even though I'm designing different characters based on the same reference, but I did not actually put a lot of extra efforts. Why? Because if you want to put some extra efforts, I don't want to have, I don't have uh, this particular kind of hours to develop the whole things yet, never okay, at the moment. So. so we have to be more practical when we develop that. Okay? So lasso tools, I know you guys have learned lasso tool before there, right? Okay. So the lasso tools over here. So I'm going to use a really dark kind of tones. But if you really want to develop this kind of elements and this kind of areas, different layers, go ahead there, right? Okay, let's just say I'm using, okay, this is basically his pants there, right? Or legs there, right? I'm using alternate backspace, see? To draw basically those uh, different kind of dark kind of tones over here, all right? So I can actually write, paint a little bit further some of the areas over here using the same kind of tone. I'll put them back there, right? And I can erase some of the areas over here. Okay, to refine them back. Okay. One thing there. Right? But sometimes, okay, when I actually paint here, I will take a look closely at okay, whether the colors are going to be right or not. What I can do from here, there, right? Mm, sometimes I can actually change that. Do some selections back again, change the right. Whether they're going to be right or not. Okay. They're right. Mm. Maybe this one is a bit more better, there, okay? Because they 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 show basically that the, the tones a bit more uh, difference there, but doesn't have a lot of contrast. It's easy for me to add some shadings and shadows there. So normally, right, okay, sometimes, okay, when I want to use those shadows kind of methods, what I can do basically, okay, sometimes, right, okay, there's a lot of way for you guys to paint. For me, there, okay, I can actually use the soft brushes back again. Okay, the soft brushes, all right, and I adjust the tone a little bit, okay, and paint, see? But when I paint based on the shadows there, okay, shadows came from this side, you see here, the side basically has the shadow there, right? Okay. So I try to make some artificial kind of shadows there. But based on the directions of light came from this side, right? Okay, this side, okay, this side is a bit more darker basically there, right? Okay? The light came from the right side of you. You have to, knowing the source of light there, right? Okay, acknowledge, okay, acknowledge those source of light there first. That's a little bit more details over here. If you think this technique is a bit kind of advanced, just let me know there, guys. Huh? So what I can do from here, all right, okay? all right. I'm going to use those lasso tools back again. Okay, but I'm click alternate, alt button there, right? 
this one, out button there. I will click out buttons basically to give, uh, to deselect some of the areas of those light there, right? Okay. I know this kind of technique, a bit kind of like, a bit kind of uh, advanced for some people there, but I'm using this kind of methods there uh, to develop this kind of shadow line, just like when you watch anime kind of paint styles there, right? So I'm using this kind of methods there to use. Okay. So I'm using alternate and shift sometimes there to focus on those shadowing there. Right? So what I can do from here, you can see the selections there, right? Selections there. I'm copy based on the pens, copy and paste. See? Copy and paste there, right? The shadows there. So what I can do from here, I can multiply. Multiply. I can reduce those opacity. Okay, to see to show some of the shadows line on it. This is one of the methods basically that I use a lot if I want to mixture with some of the methods for those crumpling, those uh, shadows for for pants, for clothes there, for example. There, right? Okay? That's the thing I do. And I, sometimes I mix them up, okay? I erase some of the areas over here, all right? Okay? Just want to blend a little bit there, right? So it can be done there, okay? That, but that's basically basically uh, some of the advanced methods sometimes, okay? I actually erase some of the areas there, all right? To blend it up, but not too much there, all right? And then I combine also with some of the line works if I want to, some shadings there, okay? For example, right here, I'm gonna do some shadings line. Do some selections based from here, all right? And I can use brushes back again. Okay. Brushes back again, adjust the tone and paint. See? Some of the areas only left. Okay. All right. So a lot of things that we can apply there, right, guys. Okay, a lot of things we can apply. Got some highlights over here. There's some highlights there, right? And paint some highlights. There. Some highlight that we can soft line, soft brushes back here. A flow there, right? Okay, just a flow. Then I can actually paint some highlights over here. It brings some highlight, right? Okay. Some highlights over here. You can see here, right? Some highlights a bit over here. But this one a bit kind of like, like, I don't know whether, I think this is a bit kind of advanced in time, okay, but it's what I say, okay, learn slowly one step at a time that you work on that so don't rush out a lot again okay, when you're going to develop this kind of skills here but it takes time basically to shade some of the areas that you want to hear right? yeah right In some of the areas that you want to add some details right like here there right if we can uh double layers there again okay? so what i can do can actually write sometimes i will do some selections like this a bit more selections over here okay copy and paste there right copy and paste and multiply there see multiply and reduce the opacities there a lot of things that we can do from here, there, guys. Okay, uh, to, to develop the kind of strokes that you want to. Okay, this kind of drawing strokes there, right? Okay, you want to adjust those uh, colors there, okay, to make it a little bit more like contrast there, okay, and and solid. You guys can use levels there. Try to use levels over here but to make it more dark tone there. See that light colors or a bit more reddish bit more, right? It can be there, guys, okay? 
So it's a part of the styles of, of techniques of illustrations there, right? That we combine all together here. Right? So that's basically one of the things that, that I can actually share with you guys, okay, where these moments over here. So some of the areas over here, you can use also lasso for the shadows line. For example, like this one there, right? Make sure you select the areas left first. Let's take your file there first. Okay, lasso tools over here, there, right? So I'm going to add a bit kind of like a solid kind of shadows line. But make sure your shadows doesn't have any, uh, what we call that the selection that you did, the feather has to be 0% there, right? Okay, 0% there. from here do some selections over there uh, maybe some selections over here right? because uh the faces uh paint styles directly uh, shadow styles directly it's not basically has a synchronization on the color mode there right so i have to change a little bit later on copy and paste see right now i don't have to use those uh multiply all right okay too much because they use basically the same layers there all right you can see the difference there between this one and this one they're a little bit more opaque right? okay like a comic kind of style there that's basically one of the the the, the, the beauty of this kind of illustrations there okay this kind of method there, right? okay. Right now, as the flows, I want to make basically the tone a bit more reddish there, right? So this part basically has a, a bit strong shadows over here. This part should be, this is basically the, 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 the horn there, right? It's like the evil kind of horn there. Mm -hmm. So I didn't actually write, put a lot of efforts there, guys. Just develop a few number kind of what we call that uh, elements that actually represent different characters. It shadows for this ears part basically but I leave basically mm -hmm. some of the highlight at the same time there okay. I leave a bit kind of highlights from there so when you want to sketch directly and paint make sure you leave some of the areas with the highlight directly to make a very strong value on your the whole compositions That's basically one of it there, right? So, um, it's hard basically, right? Okay. So, whatever that we're going to do right now, that guys, we want to develop the strong foundations of our understanding that first. Okay, that's basically one of the most important things that you have to realize now, there, right? So what, whatever character styles that you want to produce, that basically, it's not important. But the way that you produce your strokes, your design first, it's matter there, right? Okay, okay. That you, even though you you have that kind of understanding, right? Okay, oh, I want to draw anime manga styles only, okay? That's not the point itself. Right? You can draw those kind of anime manga styles later on when you have improved your drawing skills. That's it. A lot of us try to become a wannabe manga kind of uh, artist, there, right? Okay. But they don't actually develop the right kind of skills. That's why when you saw their drawings, they become a bit kind of awkward, awkward sometimes, right? Okay. 
because you you can feel basically whether you're doing it right or not because the proportion that you you develop from there is not right sometimes but you can see basically there's some sort of loose kind of uh, design there right from there you can see there's a few number kind of mistakes there that you don't know how to correct them why because from this foundation drawing that you produce right now you don't develop that kind of skill step is that's why I draw from real pictures study from the real pictures there first and then you can start to design you if you have your free times just like I did before the recipe I didn't actually write uh, being trained to draw uh, what we call that all this uh, kind of what we call that uh, drawings there okay in my assignments okay we don't have the kind of assignments in my in my in my program that we did basically right okay? i don't have the assignment to draw spawn but i draw spawn spider-man p or any kind of characters marvel character okay at the times to practice myself because i love comic very much when i was young but i don't know how to draw in the right way so I combine all the knowledge that I learned from my, from basically my formal lessons to draw these characters back again, following the comics. Theory. That's basically that I did. I didn't learn from my, my lectures to draw it like this one. Okay. No one actually teach me to draw like this. Okay. That's my lectures because they learn, they teach me the foundations there. The fundamentals there so i bring those kind of foundations strong foundations to develop back again to my illustrations there to my to my kind of personal kind of work there right so that's basically the strong things the strong elements that i actually learned from them there right because i learn how to develop my skills there first and all the character that we want to develop later on are going to be a bit more easy because we know basically how to prevent those mistakes there we know how to correct them back because we have trained our eyes there to see things in the right way any questions there guys any questions any kind of inquiries If you don't have any inquiries then I want you guys to start to start to draw them. Okay, I'm using soft brushes for those shadows, soft round pressure opacity flow brushes from general brushes, uh, what we call that folders there. And I changed the flows. I'm not using 80%, I'm using 12, 10, 9 percent to control those pressures at the same time. All right. Any questions? Any kind of inquiries? Hey guys? No? All right, if you don't have any inquiries there, I want one of you guys share your screen. And we are going to basically going to Take a look, okay, how far you guys can understand about this, this kind of assignments that are doing there, okay? Those are the things. All right? So, guys, okay, if you saw basically how flexible that I can actually be there, okay, to develop my skills there, okay? Nowadays, basically, I didn't actually draw a lot of this kind of illustrations anymore, okay? So, you guys can take a look at my Behance, how actually I develop various type of skills there, okay? Those are the things also hopefully will help you guys to develop a bit more kind of understanding from there, there okay? If you check look right now, there again, this is basically my uh what we call that. Some of my kind of previous kind of works, clients, okay, um personal kind of what we call that works there, okay, that actually develop okay for some of the organizations there. Okay? I actually right have developed myself to develop different kind of skills there different kind of styles or method that it works so because one of the one of the reasons i don't want to be i always get easily get bored to to, to develop only one styles only there okay to work with it 
So if you check look at my Insta, basically there's a few number kind of chibi character that have been designed there before, right? Okay? But I try to develop a bit more kind of originalities on my works there, rather than just copy from other people's works there, right? Okay? So even though I take some of the ideas from some people's kind of works there, okay? Ideas there from there, but I know how to reinvent and redevelop back again to myself, right? Okay? And of course, okay, uh, if you check, look, right now okay recently basically i start to develop this kind of content right? so my kind of will be kind of like more uh a bit a bit kind of what we call that simplified there right they simplify and more cartooning there right? okay so if you basically really know how to develop your skills in the right way you have to develop okay? this is basically my kind of uh earliest kind of what we call that works that i've been working on right now okay very simplified kind of styles there okay cartoon animated kind of styles there okay so if you develop the right kind of skills from here okay, you guys can follow us if you want through there right, okay you can basically develop a lot of different styles later on there six weeks seven weeks give yourself some time to develop that kind of skill there, right? Okay? But don't stop yourself to develop the skills that you want, right? Okay. If you love manga, anime, manga kind of styles, go ahead. All right. Like Mei Wei here there right now, okay. She has basically this kind of what we call the illustration that we have for the icon there, right? Develop them, right? Okay? Like Hui Ping here. I right? have this, I don't know, okay, from any kind of anime manga style, okay. But check look closely there, okay, everyone. The line work that he that that they produce from this anime manga kind of styles there. Okay. It's basically came from the foundations kind of techniques that is. All right, guys. Okay. Anyone want to share screen? Please share your screen right now. Please share your screen there, okay? One of you guys. I want to see how actually you develop those works there. And of course, okay, by the end of our sessions over here, I want you guys to send it over the progress of your work, all right, inside our classroom, in, inside our WhatsApp group, there, please. All right, uh, Junwei there, okay, improve your line works there first, okay, uh, to draw the hairline strokes there back again. Check a look on my demonstration that I did before. How I actually draw those hairline and strokes there, right? Don't draw the outline there, right, Cajun Wade? Draw the hairline strokes. One of the common problems that you guys have right now, you draw the outline, not draw the hair strokes there, right? To form, basically, the structures of the hair. Look carefully to the reference there. Don't just simply assume where the flows are going to be. Right? Look at the flows of the hair from your reference there, right? And then move the stroke according to those structures that you want there. Just like you comb your hair. That's how it goes there. Right? Look carefully to my demonstrations, how actually I draw the hairline there, right? Okay, one of my demonstrations that I did there. Let me share basically the link of it. Just to make sure that you guys have that, right? We check back again the links over here. How can I draw basically the hairline and strokes there, okay? For this particular subject matter is there. You can start by working either using ink brushes or pencil brushes there, okay? Depending on them. Check the flows, detail of the flows of the hair 
when you draw them. Don't you simply draw them using the outline, okay? Because your line works right now has a lot of hesitations. You wait. Continue down, Dora, okay? This is it, guys, okay? We know basically some of your friends still had a hard time to, to develop their movements in the right way. That's why this exercise, these techniques, will basically useful for most of you guys there trust me on that because i not trained i not develop this kind of skills for myself there i develop this kind of methods for the students there but i'm using basically that advantage that i have okay with my kind of skills to to use this kind of methods or also in my illustrations some of my illustrations there guys because i don't have to imagine a lot from scratch I can actually use the reference that, that I have to develop that kind of skills. Okay? okay, erase this kind of what we call that drawing back again. Not all of them, only the hairline, but some of the areas that you can improve more back again on the shapes, the structures, leaves. Okay, okay, good, good. There, right? Okay, ah, that's thing there, okay? Ah, that's, that's, that's the way there, right? Okay, good there, right? You wait, why you delete there, okay? It's good there, right? Ah, use the flows that's smoothly line okay the line has to be, be a bit more smooth there right okay okay this side basically when you draw there right, okay when you draw just now you can erase there this side there okay this side there this one is okay all right it can be improved okay this one this one there's the hair strokes there right they're supposed to be the hair strokes that that actually right form basically this part not basically the jaw or the cheekbone there right okay this is basically the movement of those hair so draw the movement of the hair smoothly when you draw those line there okay to cover basically these areas here. <clears throat> take a look guys on my demonstrations over there how oh, actually i draw the strokes of the, those head okay and practice a bit more further from there you wait please don't press too much basically okay you can press and release that. Press and release slowly there, okay? To use the flow slowly, smooth there, right? Just like you, anyone actually learn Tai Chi there, okay? Tai Chi there, okay? Slowly move the flows there. Right, learn from there, okay? Get the, the feels, the, the strokes feels, okay? While you do it, those kind of line works there, right? I didn't draw every single hairline, but when I actually press my hands, when I draw the strokes, I'm using the shadows kind of shape there from those hair to draw those flows. Practice your hands to move smoothly there, okay, when you draw those hair. So remember again, okay, the hair doesn't look stiff there, right? It has to look soft there. <clears throat> Don't hesitate when you draw them there, right? Okay. Those are the those are also the rules there, right? Okay? Trust your hands to move according to the flows of those hair. Right now, you draw the outline there, okay? You don't draw the hairline there, right? Right now, you draw the outline there, okay? Not draw the hairline there, right? There's two different things there. When you saw actually how, how, how actually I draw them, I didn't draw basically the outline. I draw the hairline there, right? If you think those brushes a bit kind of hard to control, you can use pencil brushes there to work with it. Okay, you can use pencil brushes.
if you think hard to control using pen brushes, ink brushes, use pencil brushes, lah. Uh, so I need to move my computer. I, I need to close down my. Uh, <laughs> right, okay. Uh, you know why, right? Okay. Uh, pencil okay. brushes there. Okay, you instead those ink brushes there. Okay. Okay. Okay, work on that. Okay, anyone else want to show there, right? Okay, look carefully back again to my demonstrations here. How actually I draw them. Okay, let me share my screen over here. Okay, check a look here, guys. How actually I draw them there, right? I'm using basically, okay, this one I'm using those um ink brushes that right ink brushes there but before that i'm using pencil brushes there right? uh, this one right pencil brushes there see i draw the flows of it right okay the flows of the hair there see not the outline there right guys did why and the rest of you guys see I draw the strokes of the flows there. My flows are going to be standard flows, 38% there, right? The size around 8 by 9 point or 8, 10, 15, something like that. And then I start to change into ink brushes while I actually get those kind of confidence there. See? If you, because the reason why we use, we use ink brushes because I want to have a very solid kind of line works, strokes. They have a bit more opacity and I can control a bit more further on the stroke itself there, right? That's why the reason why I use those brushes there, right? Not the reason why I use the brushes because I like it there, right? No, because I get, okay, see how I actually draw the leaves there right now. Leaves there, right? Where did I start to draw those leaves? Get the right kind of shapes according to those reference when you draw them look carefully to your reference there don't just simply draw them there right okay without look carefully to those reference and then you move your hands back again Okay, guys, take a look there, right? How I actually draw and control basically the line works at the same time. Just, just now, Junwei, you press too much there, right? Okay? You can press there, right? Okay? Press and release when you move that, right? Okay? But everything is in your wrist when you move and when you actually control those kind of pressure points there, right? Take a look there, guys, okay? If you have a hard time, basically, to control your pressure point, your strokes, don't think about to design new characters like this. Okay, reality check back again. Just draw from the reference there first. Improve your drawing skills. Then you can draw anything that you want. You have those confidence there. We want to build up those confidence there, okay? Just now, when I saw that, okay? When we saw, basically, our friend over here there, okay? He basically right erase and and delete and command control z a lot of time there because why because he need to develop the confidence difference see one of the reason i use ink brushes because i can get the very soft lean thin kind of strokes but they still have the quality of line at the same time Now I, I draw basically the shapes of it. Okay. See, if I cannot start from top, I start from bottom there. Okay. See how I actually move that line there. I didn't draw any outline there, guys. I draw the flows of it, okay, of those hair. You have to be, you need to learn to define the thing that you saw right here. I try to complete some of the area first. Just now when you saw your friend there, okay? He doesn't complete that area that you then suddenly want to draw at other place there, okay? 
So try to complete the whole things there, okay? When you draw those. So, Anyone? So can yes. Ask you a question. You want to share, yeah? Screen? Uh, I'll share my screen. Okay, good. Thank you, there. You're so direct. Uh, sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, I have made a major changes for the clothes and hair. I don't know whether uh, I can have a tan in or not. Uh, later, you song share, I will share my screen. Okay. Okay, so I, uh, like when I use layer to choose this part or this part, uh, layer will disappear. How to keep the lay layers to so basically there. you just you ah. do those selections there, right? Ah, you you made the selections, right? Yeah. What are you trying to do right now? I I, I select this place, ma. Then that another place will disappear like this uh it's like this oh, place yeah. then i after coloring this you place, have uh, to click shift click shift uh. yeah click shift there okay when you do do some selection or you can click shift there right i think you soon okay improve your drawing skills there first before you add some shadows there right okay later on okay. otherwise look weird there right okay 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 all right draw the hairline first correctly before you're going to add those shadows the shadows line there has the shadow layer has to be below the line works be, below the drawings there okay okay hmm mm -hmm. can you actually bring over the shadows layers in uh into the below of those line layers what what again right now your shadow is on top yeah right uh, okay Oh, okay. So you close the shadows there first, layers. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, okay, those are the shadows there, okay? Uh, the mm -hmm. shadows, okay? You didn't even draw the, the, the hairline first, okay? Then you add the shadows or what, right? Okay, okay. All right. Complete basically your drawings. And I would suggest don't draw mm -hmm. from any kind of different characters there first if you don't improve your drawing skills. Don't try okay. to imagine any kind of characters there, please, okay? Because it's, it's going to be waste a lot of your time. Okay, okay. It's not going to be benefit you right now. It just serve the purpose that you feel good about what you want to do only there. But they're not going to be safe, uh, uh, what we call that, give the, the very good benefit for your skills there because your, your drawing is not right. Okay, the proportion not right. The stroke also has to be improved a lot. You draw outline. You not basically draw the whole structures of those, of those uh, what we call that uh, subject matters there to understand about your drawings. Even though when you draw this chest or breast there, okay, from these boobs there, okay, also wrong already there, okay. You don't get the feels to understand about the anatomies at the same time. So I do suggest okay. why don't you actually draw according to the reference there first. Because your level of skills were not going to be meant for you to design different characters yet. Okay. Okay. Because they're not going to be give you a very good marks if you try to draw something that you not understand. Okay. Okay. That's okay. basically my suggestions there. The rest of you guys also the same thing. Okay. okay. If you cannot draw correctly, don't try to draw something else there, please. Unless Later on, you want to draw these pirate women become one of your exercise there. Right? Okay. Mm. All right. We have yeah. to be smart by using our imaginations in the right way. Okay. Don't okay. just simply try to draw something else, but the whole proportion is not right. You just feel sure about your drawings, but it's not right. For what? Is it true? Do you understand that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. You just feel sure about it, but it's not right. The drawing is not right. The marks are given also not going to be good. Right? Because you don't apply the main objective of our exercise, of our projects is to develop your skills there first, your drawing skills there. All right. When you paint also the shadows for those hair, it's too dark there, right? You don't, 
develop enough kind of understanding to control the pressures before you're going to draw the hairline. Mm. Okay. That's basically one of the reasons that you saw. Don't try to be sure in what you do, but you're making mistakes a lot from there. Okay? Okay. All right. Learn one step at a time. Okay. Learn to draw and improve your strokes there first, and then add another layers and start to develop the shadows and shape there from there. When I draw the hairline, okay, when I draw the hairline, okay, did I actually use lasso tools yet? No, right? Did I actually use lasso tools over here? I remember in lecture, we have used the lasso tool. Yeah, but am I actually do those lasso tools a lot from here? No. Not all that, right? So yeah. try to cover a little bit more better on the shadow steppers, on the shading steppers. Okay. Right? If, for example, like here, there, okay, if I want to paint over here, because you you must be able to focus on your purpose what why actually you develop this exercise or this project there what are the purpose there can you develop the right kind of quality of line drawing their stroke steps to your illustrations okay wait up right let me share my screen <coughs> Okay, now, take a look right here. I'm only use, not all, but a certain kind of areas for those shadows there. So I have remembered, okay, the only areas that I use lay, uh, lassos right here. But when I want, if I want to draw those layering there, okay, for example, like this one, okay, for example, like this one, okay. Check look how actually I draw them today. Very soft kind of line. Okay, just now when you draw those shapes for the shadows, a bit more stiff there and hard to see there, right? You want to draw the shapes of it. You must be able to draw the shapes of those shadows. Look soft there, right? Soft there. So right now, if I want to paint it up here, if I want to paint it up there, right, the lasso areas there, right, okay, this one also looks stiff, look hard a bit there. See, see how actually I move my hands, I okay, get to draw the shift, there, okay, click shift, huh? click shift, to to increase the shapes there, okay, to add more shapes from there, alternate. For you to add some sort of like negative space there, right? deselect some of the areas there. Okay. So what you can do from here, brush tools, soft brushes there, flows, small flows. See how I actually I painted, right? I not paint the whole thing, the whole areas there. I look at the reference back again, but I'm not going to paint the whole thing there. It's not you paint the whole thing into dark there, okay? That's what I told you. Control your prejudice is really important rather than you just using the methods that you paint there, right? There, yeah, see? It doesn't give a lot of major effect on my presentations yet when I draw them, see? The soft brushes that I actually use from here, I press slowly when I draw them. There is no basically image on the background there, right? So the reference are going to be right here. I think I want to delete this part there, right? This one look a bit kind of messy over here. Yeah. Oops. This part here, right? So look carefully yeah, to those reference first, okay? I didn't want to draw this person become anyone else there, okay? Let's just say if I want to draw, all right, I want to reimagine a little bit there, okay? But not too much there. Right now, when you try to draw this now, okay? Uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, or who is it just now there? Are uh, you song there, right? 
just now when you try to draw them right in, you try to imagine the whole thing but the skills that you have is not there yet so i'm not saying that you cannot but the problem is what you learn from there okay may i ask you guys uh, uh, you back again you so what do you learn from that drawing there do you learn anything from there nothing nothing there right that's yeah. right i'm not saying that that you are saying there okay you're nothing there. if you say nothing there okay don't draw don't do it at first but you can use that kind of reference that 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 women kind of fire with that to draw another exercise there right? just to practice yourself remember guys we're not drawing short short scenery only there guys i know that teenagers like you guys love to explore some of the things that you feel sure about yourself there but the point is right now what do you gain from that see even though i love to play games like you guys sometimes there right but reality check okay? now actually i do some etchings from these areas using drawings see i had control my line of uh, your song there right we add some sort of details there okay but the things in illustration there right now this part basically okay let's just say i'm going to reimagine that okay uh you song okay? i will draw there's a diamonds okay? to design a uh, imaginative character it doesn't have to be the whole thing are going to be bizarre okay you make a small changes like this this one there is a there, there is a uh, what we call the diamond shapes okay that represent a different kind of wish characters for this this reference no they're right so i'm using only a small imaginations there to pre to to develop this kind of illustration that look logic there right so logic at the same time you can actually use imaginations there right here it can be and now let's just say that um, i want to basically um draw basically some uh, some some patterns over here to show basically this woman has a scar there right so based from imaginations there right huh. so imagination sometimes doesn't have to be too bizarre there, guys okay small imaginative kind of ideas can give a strong impact on your presentations there so right now i just want to add some sort of like highlights over here a bit all right using highlight white colors there To give a strong impact on my presentations it doesn't have to be because from here we can learn a lot right okay? small things that you make those changes will give a lot of improvements on your skills it doesn't have to be maximums kind of changes there that you felt that you learned something there small changes make a lot of difference there and then I, I will draw the highlights a bit from here some highlights a bit over here all right okay, using white colors there right then i can mix up also with gray scale back again right okay? see how i actually draw the hairline there you saw and uh just now who is it okay control the pressures there to to add some of the details of those hair there i right? see right i'm using brush uh ink brushes tools here look at the reference and learn back again look at the reference and try to control the pressures when you draw when you actually know the flows of your stroke and the flows a bit okay learn carefully look carefully that's what i said look carefully is there when you draw them okay there is a hairline over there can be improved right okay like this one right and I will draw them back. I know the hairlines when you want to draw that, okay, they look a bit more messy there, okay, but wash carefully. You have your eyes there, right? You're not blind there. So use your eyes to see things back again. And I'm going, I can basically draw the white colors over here to mix them up, but not too much there, right? Always, always look carefully to your reference when you draw them.
because this is basically your privilege that you have you're using digital methods to learn back again illustrations my times okay i'm using charcoal there right maybe just like what you did using this introduction to art kind of exercise there okay or or, or well, this is basically the the ears areas there i will draw back again this part basically some hairline there okay wash carefully when i move my hands i see right yeah. okay this part basically not pure black there okay i mixed up around okay to show basically the difference between the shoulder pad and also the hairline on here okay they so can mix them around there right sometimes spontaneous kind of movements also give a lot of good impacts on your illustrations it doesn't have to be the whole thing because i didn't actually right try to push myself to draw as realistic that i want for these drawings there but naturally they it turned out to be a bit kind of realistic there okay? or, or almost almost uh perfect there okay? so that's basically the uh, what we call that the benefits when you're not focusing too much on real estate but you're focusing on the skills there when you want to develop there are different things there you must be able to understand right now and learn to understand right? i did not pretend to to develop those realistic there i didn't stress myself there what i try to do i develop the skill movements flows according to what i saw from my reference that's basically what I try to do. And I try to not to try hard enough to imagine a lot. Why? Because I know I don't have that kind of privilege of time there to develop the whole things into different kind of characters there first. Because your level of understanding, your level of skills, most of you guys were not there yet. So you have to develop the foundations strongly there first. All right, because the reference that I give you guys is more beyond better than I gave. But you have to work smartly right now. Okay, okay, your song. Um, just now, who actually, right? Okay, who share okay, Jun Wei, there, okay? Remember that. Okay, and the rest of you guys. Okay, who actually want to share screen just now? Uh, me, 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 mm -hmm. wait. All right, share your screen. Uh, I have a uh, draw like this. I don't know whether is it okay. Okay, the line was good. Okay, okay, right, guys. Now, comparing to what you guys produce, okay, some two of you guys produce just now, and may wait there, okay, because she has the skills there right now. So try to compare and not to find. Oh, why actually may we can do this one? Ask yourself back again. Like, can you draw them the same thing there, right? If you don't have that kind of skills, be patient there, guys. Be patient there, guys, okay? So even though there's a few number kind of thing that we can improve, okay, on the line works, there, okay? But for the beginners, I think it's not that, it's not that basically uh, too bad, there, okay? But can you zoom in a little bit there, maybe? Uh, okay. Zoom in a little bit. From uh, the faces there. Okay, check look, okay, the hairline and strokes there, okay? It's too stiff there, maybe there, okay? You have to improve it more further from there, the strokes there, right? Okay? Even though look right at it, some of the areas there, from far, when you zoom in, there's a lot of mistakes that you can improve correct from here. So don't, guys, don't feel, don't basically feel bad when you saw from far other people's drawings there, okay? So you have to remember that. Look carefully back again. What are the mistakes that you saw from it? The hairline strokes were not right. Okay, you draw mostly, you draw the outline there. As I actually, as you guys not draw the outline only there, okay? The, the line strokes there, okay, first, okay? Try to blend a little bit more further from there, all right? But it's a good try there, maybe. It's a good try there, okay? Thank For the you, beginners sir. there. But the proportion, you see the proportion of the eyes? Also wrong already, all right? Follow basically the proportion back again alignment there right okay? uh, this kind of thing i think i have to go through back again next week there right okay? all the proportions line works and everything the line there, okay but it's a good try they may wait there okay I'm but saying, uh, yeah what is it maybe 
Oh, so uh, I need to uh, improve the yes. hairline the and the eyes. The functions of the eyes, the line works for the jaw, most of the strokes, they're right, okay? But if you want to spend too much time on that drawings, try to draw another drawing step, please. Don't waste your time to draw one drawings, okay? For okay. two or three days there, all right? Move into another drawings, improve from there, right, okay? Now you know basically your mistakes, try to improve to another drawing step, right, okay? That's basically okay, one of them, okay? Don't wait to draw one drawings to complete two, three days. Because one of the things that I actually right, apply from you, from my exercise that I did actually right, did, I draw three different drawings for one day. All right. Three different drawings in one day. Right? So I taught you guys how to speed up your kind of works at the same time. Step. That's why don't try to focus more to design the characters like maybe we did there. Okay? For me, if I cannot draw that kind of characters, if I don't have that kind of ability, I don't want to draw them. I don't want to put myself in that kind of shoes that is. Waste my time that game. My focus is to develop the right kind of drawing strokes here. Okay? Are you guys understood? Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no there, guys? Yes, yes. Put, put the chat box there, right? All right? Set your mind there, right? set your mindset there right okay it develops the right kind of skills there first. then you can design other characters there okay remember guys okay you have another two assignments there but another the final one are going to be develop your skill based from your imagination and also your reference there right? okay so be patient to work on that so see you guys all right next week's good luck with this assignments project there okay and check back again your skills. I'll see you guys around later on, okay? Bye-bye. Thank you, sir.